Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of JCD of the Archangel God is no, no, not JCD, uh, Verichel, sorry, Verichel, the uh, blessed by God angel, no, not um, Saturn, he's a false god, we acknowledge him, false gods on God's days, God of is a Hopefully you, I hope and pray that you are understanding what it really truly means to have a true relationship with God. And it's about, and putting God first is about everything that is a first of God. Everything, not some things, but everything that is first of God. You're upholding the idea like the idea that I showed you concerning, you know, the days of the week. Well, God created the days of the week first. And the ideal that the first commandment is serve no other God before me. And there are in 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 men is naming the days after false gods and goddesses, the very thing, very people that God hates and not tell us to serve shows the ideal that the this church system is not sincere about truly putting God first. Concerning the things that have already been established on that God has already established that you must understand that fearing the Lord That's why it's the beginning of wisdom You search the beginning and look at what God has established and you find out of how he established things and not how this wicked world system is establishing things because it's getting more wicked and it's getting more worse. It's getting more terrible, bad, negative influence is being, you know, given out like a flood, you know, and it's horrific how bad negative foods are going in, the negative outcomes that are happening throughout people's lives. And it is, is for a purpose, is the purpose concerning a plot that people are following an incorrect system that the church system is not on the agenda of correcting because it's pretty much because it's a religious system. A religious system that I learned, uh, the characteristics of a religious system is to sit back and let darkness do damage to humanity. It happened in Jesus' day. The Pharisees and Sadducees sat back and allowed Rome to, or more likely, it started with Greece and then Rome came in and allowed the Jewish people to uh, get caught up in the culture of the Hellenistic uh, Greece. And then Rome came about in power. They sat back and allowed the influence of other, you know, cultures to influence the Jewish people. Same thing going on right now. You know, the religious system, a uh, religious system lay back and lay back in operating in error, operating in religion, tradition, in the vision of the very things that are contrary to the word of God concerning the establishment of the church. And now people are uh, resulting of this world system or being pushed to this world system to operate in this worldly, sinful, wicked culture that are teaching people to operate in the lust of the flesh and lust and eyes prior to life is what really is the problem, that we need a church, that a true church that follows according to the word of God and according to Acts. And that's what's up. But the topic of this message I want to talk about in God a wing, that, you know, um, I like this one. Um, 1 Samuel 12 and 24 but let me read uh, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 12, and where is it? Oh, uh, 18. Let me read 18 first. Oh, let's see. No, let me read 15. Uh, the f No, let me start uh, with the, wow, I didn't see that part. I didn't see this part when I was looking at it. Let me start 14. If ye will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice and rebel rebel not but and not rebel against 
the commandments of the Lord, then shall both ye and also the king that reign over you continue follow the Lord thy God. That should be my scripture right there. Uh, but if ye obey not the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandments of God, then shall the hands of the Lord be against you. The hands of the Lord be against you. Um, and it as it was against your fathers, as against your fathers. Now, therefore, stand and see this great thing which the Lord will do before your eyes. Is it not the wheat harvest today? I will call upon the Lord and he will send thunder and rain that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great. Yeah, thunder and lightning. Uh, thunder and rain is more likely supposed to be a perception of us perceiving that he's not he's displeased concerning the wickedness that is going on in the world yeah. Yeah. hope you think about that uh which ye have done in the sight of the lord in asking you a king oh you heard that which you have done in the sight of the lord of asking you a king that, that this is what the reason uh, that I was talking about yesterday about uh, it was wickedness. You, it says the wickedness is great. Didn't say something good about it, but the wickedness is great. Oh, what you have done in the sight of the Lord of asking for a king. You know what I'm saying? That God was hurt and displeased about uh, people uh, that is his own people that he fulfilled the promise that he told Abraham that he will send them to the promised land the plant the land of milk and honey that you're there to your land and now you want a king you know what I'm saying is what it was a great wickedness that you asked for a king now that I try to tell this church system concerning about the ideal of voting is the same aspect of that you know what i'm saying that you know you're not gonna hear men and women of god say it about that but when we're asking for a king or asking for an authority figure to uh be over us you know what i'm saying hey the world can put out whatever they want to but as christians that we participate in something that is about selecting an authority figure should not be something that we should do if we truly understand that God is our king and Jesus Christ is our king and we follow what his word says his law says you know what I'm saying the world can select their uh Saul King Saul's that's really not going to be about doing nothing to help better uh city or better the state or better the country you know they're gonna lie and tell you oh we're gonna make things better and things gonna end up worse that's another message but you know but god is saying that he saw this as a wickedness is great when you done in the sight of the lord and asking you a king so samuel called unto the lord and the lord sent thunder and rain that day and all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. See, you know, I know I'm, you know, the terrible condition really that's going on in this church system, in this world system, is there's no sincere ideal of fear in God. And 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 the out the negative bad outcomes that are happening in this world system is fluctuating bad, you know what I'm saying? People are more poor again, poor, homeless and homeless. Uh, horrible things are happening in this world. And the idea of not seeing that because this world, because in this world, people are not trying to learn to fear the Lord, should be the result of why the problems are happening. Should be, you know what I'm saying? But is a prophet going to say because 
people are not fearing the Lord, that God is all these bad conditions are happening and getting worse in this world. And someone's going to put forth that idea. But look, and they send the rain and the thunder, and they fear the Lord, they, the great fear of the Lord and Samuel. And all the people unto Samuel, pray for thy servants of the Lord thy God, that we do not die. For we have added unto our sins this evil to ask for a king. Let me read that again. You know what I'm saying? And all the people said unto Samuel, pray for thy servants unto the Lord, that the Lord thy God, that we die not. See, the what they were experienced concerning the thunder and the rain, whatever they felt, they felt like they did a horrible sin, a horrible thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you think that Christians these days will think that they did a horrible thing and being about something, a system that's all about selecting an authority. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, it, that, look, this church, this country is not on the agenda, will never been on the agenda about uh, truly allowing God to play a role in this country. I mean, they can say, God bless America, to they blew in the face. They can put in God with trust on their dollar bill. But the way this, the laws and how things are done in this world, showing clearly as a, a direction that they're not in all sincereness trying to put God in this country, you know what I'm saying? Or be about God in this country. But they trying to make Christians believe that they're, oh, we're about God and we're about, you know, they're lying. God be truth, every man be a liar. They're lying, they're not really truly sincere about the pattern of following the Lord thy God and let the fruit, the, the results of the characteristics of this country speak for itself concerning the influence they put out on television. You know what I'm saying? And let it speak for itself that they're not about God. But they like saying that pray that we not die for we added unto our our sins we added unto our sins. Do Christians feel convicted about participating in the process of this country of voting that is created from an ideal aspect of Greek, Greece and Rome, that Greece and Rome, let me see, they worship God, false gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? This is where the ideal of politics come from. You know what I'm saying? The ideal of that, to me, is just horrific that the idea that Christians think it's okay to participate in the idea of selecting authority pretty much is the same idea here in uh, 1 Samuel 12 and you know 19 they feel that was evil we have a king we follow the word of God if the church just follow the, the word of God concerning what the church is supposed to be established, one body, many members, you know what I'm saying, operating in unity of the spirit, operating in unity of the faith, follow the instructions of the, what the word of God says. The church is supposed to help the world. We will help the world, not, not the United States of America help the world. The church is supposed to help the world. The church is supposed to be the blessing unto the world and helping those that are hungry, homeless, hungry, everything is supposed to be the church responsibility, not this country responsibility, United States of America. But they're trying to make it like the church in the United States is supposed to work together, which Jesus clearly differentiated that render unto Caesar, under Caesar, render unto God, under God. This is two different people, two different systems. You know what I'm saying? One's about earth, one's about heaven, one's about flesh, one's about spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the thing is, here's what he says that they added to their evil to ask for us a king. And Samuel said unto them, the people, fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart, but serve the Lord. 
And, and I mean, is this church system is on an agenda to truly, sincerely serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it's, it's not really what is the case because serving the Lord is, is really following what his commandments and said according to the structure of how the church is supposed to be structured. If you serve the Lord, you just will follow what the Lord says. Um, mm -hmm. Not really the sincere performance of the church system, but you know that is the problem. But I just and they turn they turn ye aside for then should they go after vain things which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. That's what is going on. Vain pursuits is what's unfortunately Christian churches are pursuing after vain pursuits, not so too much about the will of God. But let me get to my verse. But only 24th verse, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth, in truth with all your heart, all your heart. For consider how great the things he had done uh, for you is what really the ideal of what if we truly as a church or those that are about the chosen uh, many a coffee or chosen those that truly sincere about the straight and narrow and not the broad gate needs to be about making aware to people about what's truly serving God and fearing the Lord is all about so that's the message hope you get it hope you understand uh, Psalms uh, I mean, 1 Samuel 12 and 24 that's the message God be glory